you know, when you're on the Stampede grounds, you gotta, you know, check out some great shirts. And so I was here at Lamley's and, hey, dude, dude, hey, hey, Curtis, right? Yeah. Hey, look at this, it's Curtis Glencross. Look who you run into. Um, you stole my shirt, man. I did, it's, you know, I'm looking for one for Tough Enough to Wear Pink and it's a pretty nice shirt, so yeah. I just thought I'd take it from you. Yeah. Well, do you normally do that? You take stuff from people? Well, no, not really, but don't you know, let me I talk like to the wife. Pal. Here. I like I like this shirt here at Lamley's, and and uh, thought let's, I'd take it home. Let's talk about tough enough to wear pink because that is a great near and dear thing to your heart. It is. It's uh, you know, there's lots of guys that support it, and you know, all around the world, and and uh, you know, it's a big part of rodeo, and you know, every yeah. weekend. Uh, for the most part, every rodeo, there's uh, one day that's tough enough to wear pink, and, and it's great to see the support. You know, one thing about Curtis Glencross, he is a huge flames, and we love watching you play. Have you ever thought maybe just jumping on one of those bulls? I uh, I hope a lot of buddies get on bulls, and I'm, uh, I'll leave, <laughs> that, I'll leave that to them. They can, uh, I'll help them out all they need, but, uh, you know, I've, I'm more interested in the, in the bucking horses and that kind of stuff yeah. when they're open, so, um, but uh, I I don't know how they do it riding all them bulls. They're crazy, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mind you, give them a hockey stick and let's see what they can do. Oh, well, it's most of them guys. Really, uh, you know? They're pretty good hockey players, too, yeah. lots of them. They're, they're talented athletes, and, and uh, you know, it's good on them. They can do, they do their job very well. I like the fact you're all garbed up for the Calgary Stampede. You're looking pretty good there, my friend. Uh, charity is near and dear to your heart and I know that Lamley's deep down inside is a, a big supporter of your charities. They are. Um, you know Lamley's is a big supporter of me and my family and, and uh, you know they're nice enough to give me the opportunity to work with them and it's yeah. uh, you know it's something where we, uh, we I wear their product all the time so nice. it's uh, something where it's uh, yeah, you know, even on the ice. <laughs> yeah if I, if I gotta make some hockey pants. Well yeah no kidding. Eh? Uh, what is the charity that's near and dear to your heart in Red Deer? I put on a charity rough stock event every year and um, all the proceeds go to the Red Deer Ron McDonald House and Alberta Hockey and kids yeah. that can't afford to play the game. So we put on a, a rough stock rodeo event out at the Danes Ranch in Innisfail at the end of August, Fantastic. August 22nd, 23rd. And, and uh, you know, it's a great event. Last year we raised $196,000 for the kids and, and uh, you know, we're hoping to just bigger and better every year. The flame season not far away. Are you excited? Are you in training? What's the story? Yeah, we're excited. It's uh, you know, lo right now, especially this time of the year with the free agency going on right now. It's uh, yeah. you know, always kind of checking things out, seeing no what's kidding, going eh? on, and, and uh, <laughs> making you know, sure you're still the flame. <laughs> exactly. There's a few different faces around sure. and that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm excited to uh, I'm excited for the season to come around and when we get into camp and see, uh, you know see what everyone's doing. Good stuff, bud. Uh, it's Curtis Glencross uh, for Saddle Up. This is Phoenix, and this is my shirt. Thanks, man.